Hey everyone, John at Proage Paintball. Just trying to give you some uh, quick answers for some of the most popular questions we get in the store. And today is, what is a remote host? Like, what is the purpose of it? Um, what does it do? Why would it, do I need one? Do I have to have one? What's the deal? So we're just gonna give you a quick rundown of what a remote host is. I need one? Do I have to have one? What's the deal? So we're just gonna give you a quick rundown of what a remote host is um, and a little background. When I first started playing, uh, I was probably five foot three. I wasn't very tall a little bit thicker guy. Uh, my brother, Matt Jackson, he was a little bit shorter than me, but much skinnier. And so having a paintball gun with the hopper and the air tank was pretty heavy for us, as it is most of your younger players out there. And so everything we read was a remote hose actually takes the weight off of the gun uh, because you put your air tank on the back. And we're like, oh, so that's what we ran with when I was probably 13, probably 12 to 15 years old and we're running around in the woods and playing. Uh, we ran a remote hose, <coughs> excuse me, um, and it just made everything better until you grow up or until you work out or do more push-ups or whatever the deal is um, until you feel more comfortable with the air tank weight on the gun um, you can wean yourself off of the remote host or you never have to get one but just a quick uh, rundown of what it does basically this is a remote hose here it's a remote hose so it's a hose that allows you to put the tank in a remote area um, is the way I take it. Uh, if they have coiled hoses and they have straight hoses, so the hose would just be straight like this. Uh, coiled, has a little spring tension on it. The straight one, not so much. Depending on your height, it can also determine on which remote hose you need. Uh, they typically will have some sort of on-off here. So this on-off valve turns on and off or screws in and out and it will turn the air on and off from the air tank to go through your air hose. Um, Again, this air tank actually would go on your back. So a normal paintball harness would not hold this. You would actually need what they call a, like a four plus one harness or a two plus one harness. And what that means is four pods plus one, which is for the air tank. And so the air tank goes in there, straps into place. Your air hose runs up like underneath your arm, left or right side. Um, and then this part goes actually into the back of the gun. And so as you, uh, let me show you real quick. So this part here actually, is threaded into the gun, into the back of it. And what's nice is you can actually leave this inside the gun. So when you're done playing uh, in a more simpler form, I'll show you, explain a little more in detail in a second. Basically you can, when you're done, you disconnect this, your gun goes one way, your air tank stays on your back. You can leave your gun down, you tuck this into your pant loop, whatever, and you're good to go. Um, but there are different kinds of connections. For example, this is called a standard quick disconnect. This is a standard, almost like a, uh, a compressor of any sort or an air gun like a paintbrush anything like that they would have a quick disconnect this is your most basic remote hose um, one with a quick disconnect and a coil hose they run anywhere from 25 30 bucks up to 40 dollars depending on the brand um, but the main thing the main downside to this type is that in order to disconnect this you have to let the air out so what that means is as it's still attached to your gun and your air tank is still on you have to unscrew the on off shoot all the air out of your gun, which may be 10 or 20, 30 shots, and then you're able to disconnect this. If you don't disconnect this, or if you don't shoot the air out first, um, it'll be extremely hard to pull. And then when you do it, all the air comes rushing out and it blows the O-ring out of there, um, which isn't a big deal. It's not the end of the world. You can put it back in, but it's kind of a pain. Um, so that's why they make different upgraded type of remote hoses. Uh, a lot of players come in and they're like, man, that remote hose is 50 bucks. Why do I need that? It does the same thing. Well. The next upgrade for something like this would be, this is our favorite one. This is a push to connect. And what that means is it has a little fitting on the side. So same thing, this screws into the back of your gun. So you can see the difference. This is the new one. This is the standard quick disconnect. And this little piece here would replace your quick disconnect piece, your female end. This would replace this. And this actually has a button on it. So we replace this for you or the remote hose com comes completely assembled already with this on here. This would be an upgraded uh, remote hose. And so this piece actually holds the air behind it. So as I'm playing, I'm hooked up, ready to rock. I'm playing, 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 good to go. Well, I'm done playing and I wanna go take a break and I'll put my gun down. On the other one, we have to shoot the air out of it, turn it off. On this one, I don't have to do that. Leave all the air and everything. You press this button and it goes, comes out. A little bit of air that's left inside your gun comes rushing out, the air hose, um, or the air inside the hose is stuck inside the hose, it's much easier. You don't have to worry about anything like that. You can take it on and off. You see how easy it is. It's a little more difficult when you put air in it. Other than that, it's very, very simple, very quick and easy. Um, this is our most recommended, probably the most popular remote hose. Uh, this particular part is made by Ninja Paintball. Ninja is one of the best as far as remote hoses go. 
they just are real particular on how they make their products. Uh, customer, their uh, quality control is pretty high from what we've seen. They have a good warranty on their stuff too. If you have problems, bring it back to us. Don't throw a fit and throw it in the trash. Literally bring it by Ninja, give them an opportunity to take care of you. Um, they do a good job on that one. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is your Pro Connect or your Push Connect uh, remote hose. There's one more, this is called a slide check. This one's a little bit different. Uh, this turns the air on and off as well, um, but it doesn't disconnect at all. So this basically would go between these two fittings here, just exactly how I have it. So the quick disconnect would be on the top here. To turn the air on, I would go and it would allow the air to flow through my gun. And when I'm done, it bleeds it out. And then once I've only once I've done that, now I'm able to disconnect this piece here. So this is like middle of level. This isn't very popular because if you're already gonna spend the money, um, it's pretty close to the same price as a push connect. Um, but if you already own the basic uh, remote hose, you can upgrade to a slide check or to the push connect. It's very simple. So that is definitely a, a less expensive route rather than buying a whole new remote hose. Uh, the hoses will last you a while. As long as you take care of them, you don't cut them up or leave them in the car all the time or you know in the sun, you should be okay. So you can upgrade to each one of these fittings. Um, but yeah, so like I said, remote hose goes on your back. Uh, another question we get a lot of time, people say, I have a 4,500 PSI air tank, but this, air, this hose only says 3,000 PSI. Remember, 4,500 PSI is actually how much pressure is inside of the bottle itself. That's not what's coming out of the bottle. Most paintball guns run about 800 PSI. So, for example, this bottle, the Tipman bottle, has 3,000 PSI in it. Out comes 850, which is actually what goes to the hose. So this hose is rated for 3,000 PSI. You'll never have 3,000 PSI going into your air tank, or sorry, into your gun. Um, don't ever use one of these to fill another bottle. Like if you're using off a big bottle in it, this is not rated for more than 3,000 PSI. I don't recommend to get anywhere near that. Um, if you have the option, they have hoses for that. Ninja can help you, all that good stuff. Um, but like I said, so 4,500 PSI bottle, for example, output pressure will only be 850 PSI, which is perfect for your hose. So that's one of the big questions we get all the time. Um, other than that, I think we covered most of the basic stuff. If you guys have any question, questions, comment below. All of our staff here at Pro Edge Paintball, we've all played for a very long time. We're extremely familiar with this. One thing we recommend is come by our store and actually try on a 4 plus 1 harness or the harness or maybe a tactical vest even um, with the air tank in it and the hose. And you can see if you like it. Uh, one of the drawbacks, you can't switch hands very easily because if the hose is coming out one side, you can only shoot right-handed. You kind of have to leave left-handed because the hose is going to be in the way. Or it gets caught on the branches um, as you're running through the woods. So each one is dependent on your style. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think I covered pretty much everything. If you guys have any questions, comment below. You guys can find me directly on Instagram or Facebook. Just search John Jackson. I think it's John Jackson underscore 22. Uh, reach out to me anytime. All the messages that go to the store page go to my personal phone and everything. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comment below. I'll do whatever I can to help you guys out. Thanks again.